This is The American on ESPN+. Plus. We welcome you to Dallas, Texas for Sunday afternoon hoops. The NBA All-Star game later tonight, but right now we concentrate on college action from Moody Coliseum. Alongside Coach Brian Burton, my name's Chris Mykoski, and Brian, ECU and SMU, two evenly matched teams jostling for position with the American tournament just two weeks away. Yeah, both teams evenly matched, as you said, and looking to figure out a way to figure out who can get this win. I know ECU wants to get a sweep. SMU wants to get revenge. Well, for East Carolina, an emotional victory earlier this week against Cincinnati. And one of the keys to their 16-point comeback against the Bearcats was Brandon Johnson. Yeah, Brandon Johnson just been playing lights out here lately. 27 points, 4 of 6 from 3, 7 of 7 from the foul line against SMU in the first match. SMU must do a better job containing him if they want to have a chance to have a great outcome. SMU fell to Houston on Thursday. FEODG, though, a shining star, 16 points, and his in-season growth has been remarkable. Yeah, Coach Adair just raves about Effie's growth in season, said he's never seen a player make so much transformation, uh, especially when it comes to leadership. So they'll not only need his leadership, but he scored double figures 11 last 13 games. They need a big game from the big fellow this afternoon. Starting lineups for SMU presented by UT Southwestern Medical Center, the official health care system of SMU Athletics. Visit utswmen.org. Starting five for the Mustangs, the same as it's been for the last 15 games. Actually, 16 now in a row here for SMU with Zurich Phelps, Zach Nuttall, Samuel Williamson, Jalen Smith, and Effie ODG. SMU out to a 9 and 18 overall record, 4 and 10 in conference. East Carolina also four wins in conference, but just eight losses. They are a couple games behind SMU as far as getting their games in in the American. Their game against Tulane postponed last weekend. They will make it up here before the end of the year. It'll now be played on March 3rd in New Orleans. Ready to tip inside Moody Coliseum. KB Burdett, it's our crew chief. Set to bring the ball out for the jump. Tony Green and Brian Dorsey join him on the officiating crew this afternoon from Dallas. ECU controls the opening tip. Here's the East Carolina starting lineup. Ezra Ozar, Quinton DeBunge, Jaden Walker, Brandon Johnson, as, long as, as well as RJ Felton in that starting five for ECU. Ball knocked away. Zach Nuttall picks it up. First offensive possession for the Mustang. Yeah, great for the Mustangs to get a start on a defensive stop, but then unfortunately kind of take, gave a takeaway to ECU. And they're just playing a little game of, of uh, I don't even know what to call the game, you would call it. No back and forth. No points on the board yet. Smith driving hard off the glass, no good. A little hot potato to start, we'll call it. And <laughs> good, good term. Team's able to get some stops to start. Now it's who can get comfortable enough to get on the board first. Boonjay can convert. Now Zurich Phelps with the ball in his hands. He had 22 points to lead the Mustangs on Thursday as they fell to second-ranked Houston. Coming out of nowhere, Ozar will knock it. A lot of defense to start this game. Steals, turnovers, blocks. Good job. Taking it aggressively, trying to draw a foul. And everyone in the gym locked in on Zurich Phelps, the leading scorer for this SMU team. These two teams played just on February 4th. ECU's only played one game since then. And, uh, has won their last two, so they're coming in playing some of their best basketball of the season. Phelps driving his baseline, now getting it to Williamson, slam it home for the first two points of the game. It's a good way to prevent the block, Samuel. Just go up and dunk it with two hands. Nice dish 
by Zerg Phelps. Made the adjustment after knowing everyone's focused on him to stop him from scoring. Great easy dish to Samuel Williams. Jaden Walker, only two points the first time these two teams got together, but he dished out a career high eight assists in that game against the Mustangs. So still affecting the game, even if his shots aren't falling. Quinn Dabunje getting that one to fall. He returned to the starting lineup last game, kept that spot. Yeah, there's one of those assists you talked about, Walker. Stepping into point guard due to injury for the Pirates and played 35 plus minutes and coach has been really impressed with the way he's handled the point guard not natural position for him But he's done a terrific job and talented enough to do it Zach nut off from the left wing. No good, but SMU will retain possession and Nut all will bring it in he had 11 against Houston SMU already with three more shot attempts than ECU, just one of five to start this one, but have been aggressive to get extra opportunities, get some of those offensive rebounds, and looking to convert. Phelps, quick kick over to Williamson, up and under and in. He has all four of the Mustangs' points so far. The Mustangs retake the lead, four to three. Yeah, both of them are assisted by Zurich. Zurich doing a good job. This is the evolution of his game. His Driving to the paint and not only looking to score, but finding teammates for easy baskets as well. Quick inside to Felton. Jalen Smith over to Williamson. McDonald's All-American player here in Dallas Fort Worth for Rockwall High School. 6-3 Mustangs. Felton quickly to him as ECU able to get behind the defense. Yeah, Coach Lanier has talked about their transition defense needs to be better uh, all year long. And there's, as you see, a transition after a make. Great finish by FEO DG, but not great transition. And excellent job by ECU to be able to make a full court pass for a layup. So DG ball back in his hands. Quick over to Nuttall. Back outside to Smith. Five seconds on the shot clock. Mustangs have to hurry, get it up just before the buzzer. Did ODG get it off in time? The initial call is no. Shot clock violation on the Mustangs. Yeah, good defense by ECU. SMU, I'm not sure that they wanted the possession to go as deep as it did, but short on that one on the contest. Not sure they had the awareness to know that the clock was as low as it was, but You'd like to be able to get a, a higher quality shot at least sooner so then that offensive rebound could count that ODG picked up. SMU 6 5 in the early going here in Dallas. Samuel Williamson with four points for the Mustangs. FEO DG adds two.